Taylor Chair Gracie, welcome to New Zealand. Hello. From live now, how many times have you been over here now? Four. This is our fourth trip Four. to New Zealand. Do you Zealand. enjoy the country? We love it. Yeah, yeah, I haven't seen a whole lot of it, but yes. We were out uh, walking around earlier today. I went out to get a coffee and I was thinking to myself about how easy it is to fit in amongst the people of New Zealand. You know, walking around with like the Mohawk and the whole nine yards. It's amazing. Nobody gives you weird looks. They just like sort of just accept you for who you are. Would you get those looks back in the States? Yeah, weird looks? definitely. Yeah. yeah. You have to remember that there's a lot of land in between New York City and Los Angeles. A whole lot. <laughs> now you're from uh, York in Pennsylvania. Is, is that a place of shithole? Because it's like, it seems quite small. Wrote a town, wrote a song about it, called Shit Town. I, I think the, the the latest and greatest story that came out of York, Pennsylvania was that the, the mayor of York was arrested for uh, racial charges and actually attempted murder. Do you reckon you've made York famous or put them on the map? Um, I think I think in ways that they that they would rather have us not, you know. Yeah. I, I don't know if they totally love us. It's sort of interesting. We're actually the 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 band's going to return to York for the first time, uh, sort of all of us in maybe how many years? It's been years. I can't remember the last time that we were all there. Uh, we we sort of not to say that we avoid it, but um, our, our families are still there. But it's just not. You know, it's not really who we are now as people. How about that? If the pair of you could pick one song each to cover any song in the world, what would it be? I want to cover Bold Blue Sky by U2. U2? Oh, good choice. I think I heard that cover on the last Depeche Mode record, but it wasn't called Bold at the Blue Sky. Long story. Uh... <laughs> Wow, any song. I'd, I'd probably say that we actually had the chance to cover the song that I would have picked, which would have been uh, Johnny Cash, I Walked the Line, uh, which is, uh, there's a version of uh, that that appears on the Sun Tributes record, uh, Sun Records, the legendary label that started uh, Elvis Presley, Johnny Cash, Mr. Blue Suede Shoes himself. Uh, so it's pretty amazing. We, we got the chance to do that, and now that Johnny's passed away, I'm, I'm really proud of that version. Uh, and um, so along the same lines, uh, any two acts you'd like to go on tour with? From Led Zeppelin to anyone? Oh, anybody. Mm. Maybe Led Zeppelin just to see them. It's good. <laughs> Love to see that. I'll have John Bonham play drums. Oh, wow. Any two bands. In the world of tours, I'd, ha I'd probably have to say that lyrically, the band that we, or the band or the artist that we have the most in common with is probably Bob Marley. Yeah. I think a live Bob Marley fest would be pretty Stanky. happening. Yeah, yeah, and, then, and and of course, then we could let Led Zeppelin close the show. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys. What do you want uh, fans to take away from a live show? Once they've been to the show, they've gone home. What, what do you want running through their head? I want them to walk away and remember the intensity that this guy plays the drums. It's insane. Nice. I spend the whole show like standing in front of his drum set. I just love it. <laughs> Boys, I thank you very much for your time. Thanks a lot. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. I picked uh, Coldplay Yellow because it was a first song and video that introduced me to Coldplay and I'm a big fan so here we go. Well this is uh, shameless self-promotion but this is our video Freaks. Um, just one of my favorite videos by us so here we go. Live Freaks baby. I picked Michael Jackson Thriller because it reminds me of when I was young and watching this video and with the Vincent Price thing and I just really liked it so here we go. Michael Jackson, Thriller. Ah, Queens of the Stone Age. What a great band. Just fantastic. <laughs> it's so rare. You know, Live has been around for 19 years now. We've seen a million bands come and go. And it's rare that we can put on a band CD before we walk on stage and get inspired. And these boys do it, and they do it well. Queens of the Stone Age, go with the flow. I picked uh, U2, With or Without You, because it was, I guess, really one of the highlights of, of, uh, of U2 for me, and uh, really got me really into them. I was into U2 before that, but With or Without You really put me over the top, so here we go. With or Without You, U2. Uh, I picked Duran Duran Rio because, again, it reminded me of my youth, but it was kind of the first video that I ever saw with hot babes in it, so 
When is live going to do a hot babe video? I don't know, man. We need to do a hot babe We need to work video. on that, man. We got to sex it up some, you know? That sells these days. I don't like it. You see that? The kids like that stuff. 